It certainly has put the uh, political world, the election world, on notice that uh, that gun control is, is now an issue and can be a very effective issue in terms of uh, uh, helping Democrats win elections or certainly win primary elections that they support gun control. Second. I don't mean to interrupt, David. I just sure. forgot to say one quick thing, which is Mayor Bloomberg did get involved in a huge way, but you also have to give kudos to move on and the PCCC and Credo and all and Daily Coast and these other progressive groups and organizations that have now prioritized and see that this issue is not only a key and important core issue uh, in our democracy of being progressive, but also a winning issue. And given that they've now essentially made that statement very clear to everybody who's following elections based on this primary election in Illinois, how is that changing? Are you seeing that change the dial or start to move members of Congress who may face you may who may be in relatively safe districts, but may be somewhat on the fence about uh, gun control. Are they taking notice, and are you seeing that perhaps start to influence how they're going to vote as these measures come up for votes in the next few weeks? Yeah, I do. I mean, look, I see you. You see, I mean, even Tom Coburn sitting in on meetings talking about a background check bill. He wouldn't have been anywhere near that years ago, and I'm not sure what influence you know if he'll be a positive influence. But Joe Manchin being there, who's a very pro-gun. Democrat. You see a number of congressional races where Republicans are, are speaking out in favor of these bills and being out vociferously. Pete, Pete King from New York, uh, Grimm from Staten Island, and, and others. And so I think you, you see Democrats almost unanimously supporting at least background checks and other measures. And you see a lot of Republicans, particularly in the Northeast, particularly in, in North, I would say, out West in some cases too, in California, you know, in, in places in, in uh, New York and in Pennsylvania. And you didn't see this in the past. They stuck with the party. So I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna move the dial. We're gonna get real legislation. We're not gonna get everything we want probably. And we're gonna keep fighting because we'll get there because the American public's with us on this. And Cliff Schechter is going to be with us on the other side of this break when we're going to uh, shift gears a little bit and uh, talk about some of the Republican reactions to Michelle Obama and some of the visceral hatred that uh, some Republicans seem to have for this White House. But uh, by the way, folks, if you have missed any of these uh, discussions with Cliff Schechter, and they're among the best that we have uh, here at Take Action News, you can always sign up for our podcast. Go to iTunes and search for Take Action News, or you can go to YouTube, Take Action News TV. That's the channel. Subscribe to YouTube and you will have the Cliff Schechter clips and all the rest delivered to your inboxes. Uh, every day you'll get a couple of clips. It's a great system in case you can't stick around for the entire show. Go to YouTube, Take Action News TV. You can also sign up on our website, TakeActionNews.com. But we'll continue with Cliff Schechter and talk about the Republican freakout over the Oscars when Take Action News continues after this. <laughs> 